everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, a big event happened in my life, in my daughter's life, about a week ago. Now, if you guys do or maybe you don't know, I've got three kids. I've got a two-year-old, a five-year-old, and a 14, soon to be 15-year-old. And my 14-year-old just got her driver's permit. Um, and you know what's cool about it is we've told her that we're not going to buy her her first car, that she has to get a job and she has to work for it, that maybe we'll help her and all that kind of stuff. I, you know, we wanted to learn, to earn something. I wanted her to, to, to care about what she ends up getting as a vehicle. But we have a bit of a problem because my truck is a GMC 2500 diesel, big truck and expensive. And then my wife drives a Yukon XL, uh, another big vehicle. And she can drive those cars, but she's not overly comfortable doing that. And so the problem we have is that we really want her to, to, to learn on those vehicles. So what my wife ended up deciding and doing was that we're going to go and, and uh, look for a Jeep Wrangler. It's what she wanted. I've always wanted the Jeep Wrangler. I like to take the top off. I, I learned to drive a uh, 1978 CJ7 when I was uh, you know, 14, 15 years old. It was a five-speed manual. I think it was awesome. And I found one serendipitously and ended up purchasing it. And the reason why I'm telling you all this is because we bought this car to, to let my daughter learn to drive in it and she's working, she's gonna buy it off me next year. And uh, the vehicle was, was uh, $16,000. It's 2014, it's in really good shape. Jeeps hold their value really well, especially up here in Michigan. And it was $16,000. Now I paid for it. Um, and something kind of hit me. Now, some might call this gas. It might be. But what hit me was I've got about that much money tied up in camera gear. New value prices. I'll, I'll put up some information right here of what the cost of the camera equipment I currently have is new. And then if you assume like a 70% resale value, what it's kind of worth to me. Not exactly that, but... It's enough to almost cover off on the camera equipment. And I had a real hard conversation with myself and I said, you know, I'm just a hobbyist as a photographer. And um, I could just get something real small and portable, light and whatever. And so I repurchased the Olympus OM5. You're, you're watching me record you on it right now. Um, yeah, it's got the 9mm Leica lens on it. And you can get the OM5 now, they have $2 off of it, and a couple of the small primes, uh, the 9mm 1.7, the 17mm 1.8, and the 45 1.8. You can get those for a pretty fair cheap price, all for far less than it would cost just for a Fuji X-H2 body, or, or about the same price as my X-T30 kit. So I ended up picking this up, and um, you know the reason why I went back to this is because it's about the perfect size for me. And it's got the flip screen, it's got the IBIS, and you know, I have a six foot print hanging on my wall that's from an OM5. I, go, I sit down and go to the bathroom, I've got a, a print from a, a EM5 Mark III I had at some point. Um, you know, it's sitting in my bathroom, it looks at me all the time, and it just dawned on me. It's like, what are my priorities really right now? It's, it's my kids, my family, and having the money tied up in cameras that I don't really use to make money. I mean, I do sometimes, but not really that much. I use it mostly to document my family or the change. So I'm here in Las Vegas. This is inside my hotel room. I'm in the Venetian right now. And I took this thing out a bit to, the, to, to shoot just a few photos. And I'm going to put those up for you at the end here. And um, yeah, it's, it's more than enough. It's more than enough. And I've returned to the Olympus or OM Systems family are they a dying brand? Are they a dying breed? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, and I'm going to make some art. We're going to make some art with it. And we're going to spend some time here. I always say I'm not going to buy another camera system. I feel that way now. I don't know how I'll feel in a week. They just released a like a Q3. It's super tempting, but $6,000. And you got to ask yourself, why? It doesn't, it doesn't really do anything better than what this OM does. I mean, it's got better sensor, maybe bigger sensor, but... It's not necessary. It's definitely not necessary. Anyways, here's a little footage I took uh, from when I was out here in Vegas. And here are some photos. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of these already. But these are uh, just some quick photos I took and a quick edits inside Capture One. And uh, yeah, so we're back. I'm back again. 
uh, even after I said I was done with micro four thirds. I'm psycho. I've lost my, my, I've lost my mind. Photos and video, here you go.